When you first begin to code, uh, knowing when and when not to use the semicolon can be kind of confusing. But if you think of it like uh, English class or literature, and you can kind of compare the semicolon to job to the job of the period. So you notice I wrote a real quick paragraph saying the period in literature represents the end of a sentence. It lets us know that the thought is through for that sentence. Each sentence may be related, but they are still segmented by a period. Code is broken up by the bracket system or a semicolon. So you notice that all of these thoughts, even though they're related, um, each time we see a period, we know that sentence is over with. And with code, we know the line is over with with either the semicolon or else it uses a bracket system. So it depends on which one we're using. Um, will depend on the punctuation. So let's take a look at some of the code. So if we open up a new project, we can see printf hello world has a semicolon at the end. That's because there's no bracket to uh, say it's part of that. You also notice return has a semicolon because that's one line of code. So it's like one uh, sentence in a paragraph. You notice this int main, it doesn't have a semicolon. That's because it's just starting. Um, it's the whole int main takes up this much. So all this code inside int main is encapsulated by these two code blocks. So you see this bracket system. What you'll never see really is a bracket in a semicolon because the bracket's actually closing out something that's bracketed and it already knows it's closed because of the bracket. So you don't need a semicolon, that's redundant. Now let's look at some other stuff that has a bracket. So if I do a for loop, for and i equals zero, i is less than twelve, i plus plus. Now you notice I don't want to put a semicolon here because what that does is it just loops on itself. So we're just starting this for loop. So we want to put the bracket system and say everything inside the brackets is going to run multiple times. Or printf. Now our code inside the brackets, it will have semicolons at the end of it because those are individual lines of code. But the overall loop is defined by this bracket system. Another thing that uses the brackets are if statements. So if true, and you notice right here we don't put a semicolon, we put the code block. Because this is an if then statement, so if this then run this set of code. And while the loops it's like for this, run this set of codes. Whenever it's running a set of things or a bunch of things, it uses brackets. When it's just one line of code, like uh, setting an int or something like that, uh, that's the semicolon. And it doesn't like that if true. I'll say if one. Let's see if that works. I always get if it's one or zero mixed up, so let's just check it out. Oh, one is true. 